What's going on, everybody? It is Fake Thriller and joined, as always, by Snoov603. Today, Battlefield 4 and the people at DICE have revealed their new game mode, and we're here to give you our thoughts on said game mode. So they revealed uh, the, the title Obliteration, and uh, I think... I think I'm going to give a, a quick overview. This is actually quoted from Eurogamer.net. It's probably the easiest way for me to say it and say it clearly. So if I, if you need to re-listen, just go back and re-listen to my explanation. It's called Obliteration, and it's inspired by Capture the Flag. is a brand new battlefield se- is brand new for the Battlefield series. In it, each team is given three objectives that must be defended. At the start of the of the battle, a bomb spawns in a central location, and both teams rush to grab it and bring it to the enemy's objective. Once there, the bomb must be armed to trigger an explosion, thus destroying the objective. When that happens, a new bomb spawns, and the goal is to destroy the enemy's three objectives while defending your own. So essentially, this is, for hands of uh, fans of Halo, this is neutral bomb, only there are multiple... Uh, arm sights on each side. Yeah, it, honestly, this sounds extremely appealing yeah. to me because I don't know if you guys remember, but I did uh, a video fairly recently, well, a couple months ago, talking about game modes that I wanted to see in Battlefield 4 because I went and reviewed you know everything that we have in Battlefield 3 now, and really, we only have, well, technically four core game modes. No, sorry, seven, I think is what I'd come up with. There's Conquest, and there are variations of all these things, so I'm not including the variations. There's just, like, the bare bones basics of it is... Conquest, Rush, Team Deathmatch, um, Air Superiority, Tank Superiority, Capture the Flag, and Gunmaster. Uh, maybe you could say Scavenger is number eight. But, I mean, we bring all those back plus all the variations. Like, that's good, but we need more. I think that's one of the things that was really lacking about Battlefield 3 was there was nowhere near enough variety in the game modes to play right up front. Like, it was nice that they added them down the line, but it... They really needed him from day one, and it'd be nice to know if they're going to have all that from day one. And Obliteration fits the bill exactly what I had said in that video for what we need. We need a completely different and unique game mode in relation to everything else that already exists inside of Battlefield. Like, I know that the idea of this isn't unique because, as Chris said, there's already something that kind of exists that's, you know, similar in Halo. But in Battlefield itself, this is totally new and unique, so that's good. Right, and and I think uh, I to I can explain sort of what you're talking about when you say like there's game modes and then there's variations of game modes. Like there's conquest and then there's conquest assault. Obviously, those are two different game modes, but at the same time, conquest assault is kind of just like the bastard twin sister of conquest. Right, you know? and then- it's nothing innovative. It's nothing new, and I think the same could be said for conquest uh, domination. Air- yeah, well, and air superiority like, and tank superiority. Those are like flash in the pan, like novelty game modes. We yeah. need like serious strategical um, map based game modes. Exactly. Uh, and I think this is going to be fantastic. I, we don't have all the details right now, like whether it's going to direct you to one bomb site and one bomb site only. And then after that one's gone, you go to the second, or if all three are going to be active at the same time. And that adds a new layer of strategy when it comes to defending. Um, so we still have a little bit more to see uh, in terms of, of details of obliteration. But this is a huge step up from starting the game or launching the game and only having four game modes. Uh, so this is, you could say, a 20% in- increase, 25% yeah. increase. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. I mean, you know, everyone loves Conquest because it's totally different. Then you go to Rush and it's more infantry based, and that's awesome. And then if you just want to fart around, you've got Team Deathmatch. But, you know, just to have like another completely like teamwork, tactical based game mode to rely on to play, that's that's huge. It, to me, I'm looking at it as what we have is Conquest and Rush, and now we're going to get Obliteration. Right. So it's like. That's- yeah, like there's the, like conquest and rush are the class A game modes of Battlefield. Right. It actually that's a very good way of putting it, and that's what the thing that's what Battlefield Three was missing was more class A game modes. There's really only the two, conquest and rush. Right. So, 
Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, I think that that pretty much covers it. More details will come out, and we'll, when we start to see how these maps are laid out, it'll give us a better idea of how the overall game is going to flow. Because, to be honest, Capture the Flag yeah, that, 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 that sounds great on paper. It's a classic game mode, but it did not work in Battlefield 3. No, God, no. And, uh, I mean, maybe it was just done poorly. Like, maybe Capture the Flag would have worked better on close quarters instead of Endgame because then you could actually deal with it and then you wouldn't have dirt bikes spinning around everywhere. But, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, unless you have anything else to, else to add, we can just ask for our viewers' input down in the comment section. Yeah, no, that's all I have to say. I'm just, you know, the, the idea of it, I'm just so, so stoked for it um, because, like we said, and I'm going to keep reiterating, reiterating this point, is that Battlefield 3 only had really those two Class A game modes. It needed more variety in that, like, you know, top-tier field of, your go-to games up front and we're finally getting it and i i really really hope we get one more because that would just be beyond fantastic if we get like four class a game modes to play like if memory serves uh, a, a while back when people had access to i think the alpha people started digging through the game files and they found i thought it was three different like names that people just surmised must be new game modes uh, in, in like random, you know, data files and stuff like that. So I wouldn't put it past them to have at least one or maybe two more full-fledged Class A game modes up their sleeve. That would be fantastic. So, yeah, that's. I mean, that's it. I'd actually, you know, at this point, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this game mode. Like, what your thoughts are. Do you think it's gonna be good? Do you think it's gonna be bad? Um, if you're not really kind of stoked to see it, or you're not really excited about it. What would you change about it? What is it that you're kind of leery about? And what is it you would want to see done differently with it that would make it more appealing to you? Right. So, guys, leave your comments down below. And uh, as we learn more about game modes in Battlefield 4 or other interesting news concerning Battlefield 4, we will let you know right here. So we'll catch you guys later.